Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about grid view in uh, C sharp, window forms. Uh, so let's start. First, we will open Visual Studio. Now we will create a new project. Click on new project. I will click this window form app and click next here I will give the application name is uh, grid uh, view demo now I will click create now here we have this uh, basic window form and this uh, uh, grid view demo application created so I will just go into this toolbox and uh, search for grid view so this is data grid view I will drag it to the designer and uh, I will expand it a bit Now I'll bind a data source to it and run it if it is working. Now um, I will choose data source add next next and here I will uh, select the subdirectory database and click next next. Now I will click this tables and uh, I will click this cases table and uh, click finish now the ca cases table is loaded in this grid view if I run this it will retrieve data from uh, the cases uh, table and show it in this grid view as you can see the data of the cases table is shown in this uh, grid view now we will create another grid view and uh, populate it per uh, programmatically so let's stop it and drag a new grid view okay now we will populate this programmatically so uh, let's see the name of this grid view this is data grid view 2 and the name of the uh, this grid view is this so I will access it by this name so let's go to the code Okay, we will uh, populate it in this uh, um, code method in this load method form one dot lo underscore load method. So, first of all, we will create a, a SQL connection, and for that connection, we need the connection string. And the connection string, as we have uh, already added a data source to this uh, project, so our connection string will be in this app config file this is our connection string and the name of this connection string is this so we will access this by name so let's go again to this form1.cs file and uh, access that 
to access connection stream from uh, app.config uh, file we use configuration manager Now we will um, import the namespace in which this uh, configuration manager is present. I will copy this uh, name from this uh, connection string and paste it in here and now I will create an SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection now we will also import this uh, SQL connection if I click alt enter and uh, it will give me suggestions and I will import it now I will put this string here con string now I will open this uh, connection as the connection opened so I will create a SQL command which will take two things one is the query and the second one is the um, uh, connection I will see what is the table name cases select direct form cases ok and now here I will pass the connection now I will create a scale data reader Now I will create a data table. Now we will load this uh, reader into this table, which will the reader read all the data from the query now not table it will be reader ok now I will uh, assign this table as data source to grid 2 data grid 2 dot data source Now if I run this, 
and let's see if data is loaded into the second table or not as you can see the data is table in uh, is loaded in the second table as well uh, so let's uh, create a click event on these uh, cells of the um, uh, grid view so now we will create a click event on this uh, on the cell of this first grid view it is same for both these are properties and uh, this is the um, click event tape if I click on this and uh, uh, if I click this cell underscore uh, click we want this is cell content click this is cell content double click if I double click here it will generate a, a cell click um, method and now if I show a message box here and here I will show the data view dot current cell dot value dot to string it will show the value of uh, the cell on which we click so if I run this it is showing some error no uh, there are namespace definition or end of file expected if I put another curly brace here so it is showing error now if I remove this and if I run this again now there is no error so it will run if I click on this report number so the content of this cell is shown if I click on this the content of this cell is shown if I click on this the content of this is shown if I click on this the content of this cell is shown it is similar for the second uh, grid view as well we have to just go into the designer and uh, create the click event um, method and uh, and then if we click on the cell um, of the second uh, grid view it will uh, show the content of the cell so that's all for today uh, please like and subscribe uh, subscribe my videos uh, and also share it with your friends um, um, but the, the next video will be uh, uh, will be also on a grid view but it will uh, be on uh, advanced grid view uh, and advanced grid view you can uh, uh, use filters here in these columns and we can filter through that so that is a much interesting topic than this and inshallah in next video we will uh, discuss and create that